What's up, everybody? This is Ox with the Crappy Gamer. Um, doing a final kind of like post multiple sessions of using review on the Boomba gloves that I bought a couple months uh, about a month ago, as well as kind of an update on two of the uh, Eastons that I bought and kind of an intro into the third Easton that I bought, which I'll get to use tomorrow. Uh, so by tomorrow, I'll probably. Uh, no, oh, actually that's too much work. I'll just uh, do another separate video. But um, first with the gloves, um, the 8020, uh, the this is the lowest model that Boomba makes. I just found out, by the way, you can't even get uh, customized gloves anymore from Boomba. Because I was thinking of doing one, which I'm glad I didn't, and I'll explain it in a minute. Uh, but you can't even do that, at least not with the Vitia, which I'll show you in a minute. But the 820 is, uh, as I mentioned before, the 8020 is their lowest model glove. I think it's still like 30 bucks. Um, online. As I said, it's a great glove if you're playing just recreational, you know, like I do Friday night, softball. You know, you're kind of, you don't want to spend a whole bunch on a glove. It's super comfortable. It's got the, the cushioning padding on the inside as opposed to actual leather. Um, and again, as long as you take good care of it, it should last. Uh, but I don't use it too much, personally. Um, not that, that there's anything wrong with it at all, it's just, I, 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 you'll understand in a minute for a number of reasons why I don't use it very much. I'll probably end up have, holding onto this one, and then if I run across someone, which I tend to do a lot in my leagues, that's using a freaking, you know, like, I just realized it's probably going to echo a lot. Not echo a lot, there we go. Um that needs a glove that's actually like a full-size one. Because I've seen people play with T-ball gloves in our league. It's mind-blowing. Uh, then I might end up giving them this one. Um, so, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. Or someone on my team needs a glove. You know, then this is an option. So, no issues with the 8020, uh, and I think it's worth checking it out if you're looking for a cheap, better glove than some of the ones that are out there. I think there's a Franklin on, like, Amazon, and they sell them at Walmart. And they're plastic. They're, they're basically plastic gloves. You're gonna spend 30 bucks, get something that's actually safe to use and pretty decent. The big disappointment, unfortunately, was the Vitia, though. Um, I mean, it's so. I don't wanna. I had another glove. I wish I still had. I mean, I, I don't. Actually, there's a lot of reasons why I wish I don't have it anymore. Or why well, I'm glad I don't have it anymore. And I think I made. I made. I lost a lot of money on it. But um, it was a show-off glove. It was, the brand was show-off. And it was made in Mexico. And it had just a weird break-in. I did the same thing I do with all these gloves where I take out that, that part of the heel. But the way it closed, it had no structural support. And so the ball always felt like it was going to pop out. This one does the same thing. Where like, You can see when I squeeze it, there's just there's no pocket. I mean, the thumb immediately wants to go inward, despite the fact that I have two fingers in the pinky slot, and I'm trying to close it like this, and it wants to close. It's just, it's an awful, awful way that this, this glove was, like, you know, built. I thought about, it, it doesn't matter, the, the pocket in this is just so shallow. I mean, this is, these are all 13 half inch gloves. This is closing it, okay, like how I normally... Normally we'll close it on the ball. Okay. There you go. The glove that impressed me the most is the Velocity, which is the mid-range one. Same size, 13 and a half inch. But you can see how much better this closes. And so when you put a ball in there, I mean look how much that closes over the top. It actually closes pinky to thumb the way it's supposed to. This one doesn't do that. It's like this, this section right in here is just way too narrow, or it, it's too, oh, I can't think of the correct word for it, but it's, there's just no pocket in this area. And so you end up with a ball that just, I mean, that's, this is a weighted ball too. I don't even know how heavy these cannon balls are, but it's at least a pound, if not more. And there's still just too much gap. I don't like it. And I've been trying to work it, like maybe if I curl the pinky inward a little bit, you know, maybe I can get a little more of a pocket. But 
I don't know. It was just really disappointing. It feels pretty good um, overall. I mean, you, you can definitely tell this is their highest end model. Um, the quality on it's pretty good, uh, for sure. Leather feels good and everything. Definitely was hard to break in, even with my little, uh, you know, surgical removal technique thing. But it, I was trying to catch fly balls with this on Monday. Every single thing pop out, pop out, pop out. No pocket. No, I mean, even with a, a baseball, you know? Like, I can't, I can't get it to want to wrap around the damn ball. So, maybe it's just a one-off. But for some reason, because this is made in the Dominican Republic, if anyone hasn't watched the previous video, these are actually made in the Dominican Republic. Maybe it's just something about Latin, comp like Latin glove manufacturers and the way they make them, because both that Mexican show-off and then the, the Dominican Vitilla have the same kind of closing pattern that, I don't know, I just don't like it. It doesn't feel structurally uh, good to me. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth, again, if this is a one-off, then go for it, because it's still cheap for what's supposed to be a like higher model glove. I still think this is more in the mid-range of like, you know, my, I think this is maybe a little better leather than my Mizuno Prime, but I love my Mizuno Prime. I still occasionally bring out my Mizuno Prime, um, and that one was a hundred, I think I paid 80, but it's like a hundred, mine was a special edition one, so I think it was like a hundred and forty dollar glove originally, but you know, for 70 bucks, 80 bucks, this is a pretty nice glove. But just be aware, the pocket may not be as shallow or as uh, deep as you want. And this is the slow pitch model. This is supposed to be. I'm pretty certain that's why the SB is in there in the thing. The B17T, I believe, is the the, the web design, the, the web model. So this should be the softball model. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I never even tried catching a ball with it in the normal normal position. Oh, that feels awful. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's awful. So, kind of disappointed with this one, I'm not going to lie. Beautiful color scheme, but you can get that color scheme in the Velocity, so. But the, like I said, the Velocity though, I was from day one, it's had such a deep pocket into it. Way way better pocket um, and once I did that little procedure I mean I've only caught 30 balls with this and it's good to go now I would trust this in the game but I just found out from my manager um, yesterday I'm probably not gonna be playing much outfield I'm actually doing the Mookie bets and moving into second base uh, for this upcoming season. I am not a fan of using gloves this big in the infield. There are a lot of people that do, and good for them, but that's not me. I prefer at the largest, maybe 13 inches, but that's not my cup of tea. 12.5 and 12.75 inch are what I would prefer. My Mizuno is a 12.75, and then my Worth Freedom is a 12.5 with a beautiful pocket. I, it's over there, I don't wanna go run and get it right now, but beautiful pocket on it. So, I bought a glove uh, a couple hours ago, and it's an Easton, you know, shout out to Easton with all my bats, uh, the Easton Prime. So I will do a review on that, possibly this, in the next couple days, because it's arriving on Friday, so two days from now. Or I'll try to do it, you know, some point soon, because then I wanna make sure that I'm able to get some, some repetitions in with it. Um, oh, no, I ran out of music. I thought I had it on the loop. Oh, we're just going to redo it again. This is uh, DJ Prom Night, by the way. Uh, what, what, is, what is this album again? I'm Not In Love. This was actually the first listening party I ever got to listen to from DJ Prom Night. Um, also known as Equip. More famous known as Equip. This is his slush wave uh, alter ego. So anyways, I'm going to uh, review that at some point And... Um, I'll let you guys know how that one goes. Hopefully, if it's anything like the Worth in terms of the shape, because it's supposed to be a slow pitch glove, 
And it's interesting. I've never seen it before, but it even specifically says we designed the pinky loophole to allow for two fingers. Like, uh, I'll put two fingers in the pinky no matter what. If I got to remove the damn pinky uh, loop, I'll do it. But they're specifically saying you can, like it's designed to do that. That's kind of interesting. So I wonder how comfortable that is. This is insanely comfortable of a glove. It does feel a little like thin in terms of like the leather, but I kind of like it because it's so light. The Vitia is really like thick feeling, and that's because it's supposed to be a higher, you know, higher level glove. And some of those higher end gloves do tend to get a little on the heavy side, Nakona's in particular, uh, because of the leather. I don't really like that from an outfield perspective, so that's why I like how light this one feels. Um, but if the if the the Easton is like how the Worth is, where it's got a nice rounded, um, you know, uh, finger the finger side, and then that way I can still bend in the thumb because I usually flare the thumb and then bend in the pinky on my infielder's gloves. I like to flare completely both uh, pinky and thumb with my outfielder's gloves. Then I'm that's perfect. And 12.5 is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so we'll see. It was 60 bucks, 60 bucks or 70 bucks. So it's, it's worth a chance. It's got a great color scheme. It's um, like a black and kind of dark, dark brownish sort of thing. So like the way it looks. Love the little steer high, uh, the steer head on the back of it. It's it's a it's a pretty glove. So I'm excited for it. They sell them on Amazon, and I'll, I'll do all that stuff when I, when I do the review. As far as the bats go, um, because of my uh, el whatever, I, I'm pretty certain it's tennis elbow. Um, all the symptoms seem to, sh to point towards that. It just sucks. Everything I do every day involves doing something with this arm, and so I'm constantly straining it. So unless I find something, I don't want to stop practicing, especially as we're getting closer to the season. So I'm just going to have to figure out a way to just power through uh, with, with, you know, compression sleeves and all that stuff. Uh, but I've learned, I've begun to notice that swinging these two bats are, they're starting to get a little bit heavy. The um, Lady Rismundo in particular, this is a half ounce end load, but it's a 27 and a half. I, yeah, you can you can feel it as you're swinging. I mean, it's still, it's a half ounce end load, so it's not as bad as you think, but that still ends up being, what, 28 ounces total weight, you know, when all is said and done. And so it does take its toll uh, over time. We usually do... Monday, this past Monday was my first time doing a Monday session, and it's going to get larger, but I got to use better balls, which is awesome, except we're also in the second week of January, so it's cold, and it actually was really fucking cold on Monday. I think by the time I got to the field, it was like 37 or 38 degrees, and uh, so swinging at some of those ones is probably not the best idea, even though they, this one, you know, the two that I've had are 240s, so they tend to take a little more abuse than the 220s, which I'm going to talk about, uh, the 220s, yeah, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, but seriously, out of the wrapper, I was really impressed by how this felt, and I was watching the uh, slow pitch um, bat pros, highly recommend checking out their uh, channel, especially if you're more into the exit velocities and the compression testing and all that stuff, and how quickly they lose compression and all that, because a lot of people you have to have your bats tested. Here in Fremont, it doesn't matter. Um, to help, we, we don't even have to use the, these new 240s yet. We can still use the 220s. Um, so more, much more in depth if you're into that kind of stuff. But they said the same thing. He was using the Easton Old Stamp. I, is it the Old Stamp? No, 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 no. He did use the Old Stamp, but he used the, not the Kapow, it was the other one. I don't know, it's one of those stupid comic book ones that East is putting out right now. But it uses the same thing, the, the Advanced Fireflex. And then it uses the um, zeros, the four, uh, 1431 Zero strain handle. That's not going to show up all that great. But uh, he, he and uh, his buddy said the same thing, that they're really forgiving barrels. And I noticed the same thing. I mean, you can miss pretty badly on these and you won't get any negative feedback. Uh, but it jumps for a 240. It jumps. I wish I wish I could afford a compression tester, a portable one. They're like a thousand bucks for one. I could spend a thousand bucks in much better ways. 
Oh, is that a crack? That might be, uh... That might be, uh... I bring my tanner tea and I kind of have to slide it in with one of the bats. So I always try to put the my war stick bat cover thing on the one that has the tea, but... It just looks like something scratched the shit out of it. Right? Oh yeah, right where the player optimized thing is. Kind of hard to see, but right, right in... Right there, like right in that area. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't affect the bat. It's just I don't know where the hell that came from. So, I, I do like it. I wish it was lighter, but I do like it. This might end up being my cold weather bat, you know. And, and I have a, my my thinking is I'm because I'm going to have practices on Monday. I might have practice on the weekend, too, which would be really fucking cool with the people that I used to practice with. Um, but I know for sure on Mondays, as long as it's not raining and it's holiday, I'll have practices. So I think I'll swing this one on Mondays. Um you know, it's kind of a, I mean, you can get some good exercise and good endurance out of swinging something this heavy. Shift on Thursdays, because then I have one on Thursdays, I play on Fridays, to the shift hour, mm -hmm. which is 26, but with a mule load. So this is a, a ounce in load. Well, that's upside down. And so that way I'm still getting some good repetitions. And then that way when I go into Friday, I can swing what I think is going to end up being my game back, which we'll talk about in a second. Plus, I'm not entirely sure I be, should be swinging this one in BP based on just how it feels already. But um, the Schiffhauer, I took some swings on Monday with this with the better balls, and some of them went. So, same thing. Out of the wrapper, it felt really good. This is also 240. Um, I didn't mention that. The um, This is the... I want to say this is the first generation of the 240s because it uses the um, I think it's the standard Fireflex. They both use the CXN Max um, thing and then it doesn't use the uh, the 1431 carbon handle. It uses the, the zero carbon handles or carbon zero handles. Uh, I just know that they feel good. There, there's not a lot of... I think it's pretty stiff at least when I was swinging it. I didn't feel like it was whipping around too much and I don't like bats that do that. Um... I mean, I don't, I, I don't have anything bad to say about either of these Eastons. They, 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 it, it's just, it sucks. It's so hard to gauge how well they're, they're doing from a performance standpoint because of the field we're on. We're not even at our home plate. We're off at a weird angle, so I don't even know what the measurements are at this point. I measured from the home plate we're at. We're like 20 feet off to the side. So that screws up trying to figure things out. But I mean, I unloaded it on a couple balls on Monday. And again, with, oh, I have spider cracking. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. I've got spider cracking. I have no idea. Oh, that's kind of showing up. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, see it? It's kind of showing up if I do that. But I've got spider cracking. Son of a bitch. I don't have any on the Resmundo, but I definitely have swung this one more. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just telling your bat telling you that it's starting to open up. It must have been this side that I hit. That is very interesting. I did not notice that. Interesting. Hmm. Well, good to know. Oh, my place. I was like, what the hell? I'm not going to play the music again. We're almost done. Um, I mean, I can't talk a whole lot about a bat I haven't used yet, but... They still have, I think they still have a couple of these left on Smash It Sports. And I mean, if you go around them, so there's other places that sell them too. I mean, Easton, for all I know, probably still sells them. But um, I've been impressed by it. I like the way it swings, even though it's an, a full ounce end load. I don't, it doesn't really feel like it. And the 26, yeah, I mean, if this was a 25, it, it would probably feel a bit better uh, just on my arm. But, you know, it doesn't hurt too much to swing this one. Uh, this is probably going to be my, like, backup gamer and... Hopefully more of my teammates use this one and not that one. Luckily, there's only... Really, there's only one other person on my team that hits hard enough where it would, I would have issues you know, with them using my bat. Uh, and they have their own, so I don't think it'll be an issue. 
I can't believe there's surface cracking on that. I did not notice that. Okay. Last thing. I have wing stop and it's starting to get pretty cold, so I gotta hurry up. This is the bat that we're gonna hopefully use tomorrow at some point, depending on the weather. I have mixed feelings about the uh, name for certain reasons, but this is the Armed Forces uh, Easton USA Patriots 20, uh, 220 model from uh, 2021. This is the 12.5 ounce um, two piece. I think the, the 13 or 14 inch barrel is a single piece, but there's a black version of this. Uh, and then the, the whole decals, decals. The decals go, I think, like way down here. I prefer shorter barrels, and I just think that this is a way cooler looking bat. I like this whole, like, like the barrel, I can visualize the barrel as I'm swinging it. I don't know. I kind of like the way that looks. Like I said, I just have mixed feelings about the Patriots thing, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is a 25 and a half. I was really lucky. I bought the last one on Smash It Sports. This is a 25 and a half uh, player weighted, um, or was it optimized player weighting loaded? So this is a half ounce unload. I mean, this feels so good. Just this oh, feels so good. It feels like I can whip the shit out of this thing. Because it's a 220 um, bat, I was uh, hitting it with the uh, mallet and like that eastern area right there. Yeah, that eastern area is, oh, I'm so excited. I've never been as excited to swing a bat as I am right now with, or with this one. So I'm probably going to end up disappointing myself, but. I really think this is going to be my gamer. Like I said, we can still use 220s in my league. Uh, just hope it doesn't break uh, quickly. So, again, I'm going to test it tomorrow if weather permits. Because I believe it's, well, see, now it stopped raining. It's been on and off today. But we get sun in a certain spot on the field, and so we all just put our bats up there. And if I can let this thing heat up, I never keep these in the garage. They, they sit up in my room. <clears throat> So they stay pretty much warm anyways. But um, if weather permits, I'm going to try this one out. And I think this thing is just going to sit in my room until the league starts. I have a feeling it's probably going to be pretty hot straight out of the wrapper. So that's my opinion on that. But we'll see. If I get a chance to use it tomorrow, then I will let you all know. But again, this is a 34 inch, 25 and a half ounce. Half ounce and load, 25 or 12.5 inch barrel. Easton USA Patriot. Quite excited. And uh, I will let you guys know how it is. Thank you. 